spacecraft the size of a baby grand piano is making history at this very moment, three billion miles from Earth. NASA's New Horizons probe just flew by Pluto. The journey to the farthest edge of our solar system took nearly a decade. NASA tweeted a sneak peek of the dwarf planet. There it is. The picture was taken as the probe approached. CBS News Science and Futurist contributor Michio Kaku wrote in this morning's Wall Street Journal, that Pluto probe just might save the Earth. Michio, good morning. Why? <laughs> yes. <laughs> because Pluto, in some sense, is an overgrown comet. If you were to drag Pluto closer to the sun, it would sprout a tail, just like the dog. Now, comets are potentially dangerous. We think that a comet may have slammed into Mexico 65 million years ago, killing the dinosaurs. And the dinosaurs did not have a space program. That's why we think that understanding Pluto is to understand who we are and perhaps our future. Or what could kill us all. That's right. Uh, Pluto was way out there in the Kuiper belt of comets, and we have not yet explored that belt of comets. Potentially dangerous, potentially planet-killing objects out there. So what do we want to learn from Pluto? Why are we going? Well, first of all, we want to know where we Who's came there? from. Why are we yeah. going past it? Yeah, why are we going? Yeah. Pluto is a time capsule. Mm -hmm. You're looking at our own solar system as it was four billion years ago. Pluto hasn't changed in all these billions of years. We've changed, but not Pluto. So it begins to tell us who we are. And what we find out there is a lot of icebergs, a lot of uh, comets. And the comets are potentially dangerous. Uh, they, they go in erratic orbits. Some of them come tumbling down into our inner solar system and they light up the sky. They dazzle uh, people who watch the skies, but they're also potentially dangerous. Uh, one last question. We want to go to Mars. When is it likely we'll land on Mars? Well, 2030, uh, President Barack Obama said, would be the time frame to put people on Mars. But we've got to take baby steps. First, we probably have to land on an asteroid to get our, uh, to get our feet wet and then perhaps lunge on to Mars. But perhaps by mid-century, we have a good shot at going at Mars. Thank you. Michio Kaku, thank you very much.